Hey, Ryland, how did you find out you have been added to the 40-man roster, and how meaningful is it to you? Uh, I actually found out. Uh, I got a call from Baltimore. Uh, it was a random number. Uh, it said Baltimore, so I know I had to answer that one. Uh, I was actually outside in the garage working on a little house project I got going, and uh, yeah, you know, you broke the news. Uh, it, was, it was definitely a pretty uh, surreal feeling. I was, I was pretty excited about it. I uh, told my girlfriend right away, told my family. It was, it was, it was awesome. Yeah, very excited. Nathan Ruiz, you're up. Go ahead, Nathan. Hey, Ryland, what's it like to be added at the same time as Zach? And, and just what have these last couple of years getting to share this organization with him been like? Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's been awesome. We were, uh, yeah, no, it, it's been really cool. Uh, especially getting added with, with Zach, you know, we were college roommates and, and, and Zach Matson, you know, facing him, he, he was, uh, he was definitely a good battle for me and Bowie. Uh, we had some, some good battles down there and, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's pretty cool to be at it, especially the 40 man roster, you know, that's, that's definitely a huge stepping stone in everybody's career. And, uh, yeah, yeah we're, we're thankful to have this opportunity. Dan Connolly, you're up. Go ahead, Dan. Ryan, how much are you looking now at the 40 man roster and the guys that are above you and, you know, the machinations that can go on with that? How important is it you to, to kind of, figure out the own de- your you know the Orioles depth chart in your mind yeah you know I uh, uh, just from what they're telling me and stuff I, I think I'm definitely gonna be in the mix whether it's at, at second base or third base um, you know down at down at instructors here I worked on second base a ton uh, they, they, they seem to like me over there um, and I think that's definitely uh, another position I can add to my uh, my arsenal um, you know and and the past few years pro ball I kind of kind of stuck at third more than second but uh yeah, I like having second base in my pocket, and uh, yeah, I feel good over there. Rich Dubroff, you're up next. Go ahead, Rich. Actually, everybody asked my question, so I'll pass. Sounds good. Steve Molesky, you're up again. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, Ryland, as a guy who does, was not blessed with 6'2", 210, as some guys are, you still produce plenty of power, 43 home runs, but also on base. I mean, as you kind of analyze your offensive game, is that going to be a big part of it moving forward? How does power play into everything? Yeah, no, it definitely plays into a lot. Um, especially this year, being home a lot, I really took a lot of time and I, I got in the weight room, got a lot stronger. Uh, the weight room has always been kind of uh, my, my place to improve, kind of. That's where I see the, the most improvements in my game, when I get stronger, a little bit more confident. Uh, and definitely power has kind of turned into a big part of my game uh, ever since doing that. And, uh, yeah, I definitely think it'll play at the next level. Nathan, you're up again. Go ahead. Just going off that, how do you feel like you improved this year despite kind of all the circumstances around this season? Yeah, no, I, I, I think I actually improved a lot. Um, like I said, the weight room, I was in the weight room a lot. got a lot stronger. Uh, that definitely adds to my game. But but just being – we had a, a little group of guys going over to the, the Bo Jackson Dome in Chicago, a bunch of pro ball guys that were home. And, uh, yeah, we worked out every day. We got after it. We – we all got our work in. I, there were some infielders over there, so I got all my ground balls and stuff. And uh, yeah, they, they were they were sending me stuff to work on. You know, I, I was sending video feedback and and yeah, no, like I said though, the weight room has always been uh, uh, where I where I see the most improvement in my game when I get get stronger. Joe Treza, you're up. Go ahead, Joe. Ryland, just piggybacking off that a little. What exactly does the off season look like? You know, and and is it easier to, to kind of navigate? since you guys already kind of went through a shutdown where, where you had to kind of improvise and do things on your own? Yeah, I, I, I definitely think it's a little bit easier now, uh, especially being home all summer. Um, so it's just kind of getting right back to it. You know, it's the same mindset. Uh, I think I was gone for about two months in, in Baltimore and then down in Florida. Uh, so, yeah, just, just kind of just right back to the same stuff. You know, I took some time off after instructions to give the body a rest. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we're slowly getting back into it, starting some baseball stuff up here soon and uh, been lifting. Yeah, no, it's definitely a little bit easier to navigate uh, some of my past experience with, with being home.